Good day to you. I'm Graham Paddock. In this 2019 end of year video, I'm going to look back at the year. You know, South Africa is a really interesting place. There is just so much going on. If you're looking for things to worry about, there are plenty of them. Our economy faces very serious challenges, many of them the direct result of years of very poor political leadership and unconscious incompetence at various levels of government. Emigration of skilled workers is at an all-time high and property values an all-time low. Our unemployment level is the highest it has been since 2008. And this isn't just indigent people, it reaches into the property owning middle class, meaning that there are more sectional title and homeowners association owners and tenants who genuinely can't pay their rentals or levies. They may need to find alternative accommodation, but there are very few property buyers about and the cheaper alternative accommodation for tenants is scarce, hard to find. This means that community schemes are having cash flow challenges. But there's also a positive side. South African society is normalizing under the new constitution very quickly, amazingly quickly. While the community scheme ombud service is not performing very well yet, it is at least operating and one can expect it to get better. And for all its shortcomings, South Africa still has more opportunities and advantages for people who are prepared to look for them and work hard to achieve their goals. So while many businesses are struggling, Paddox is doing well. We have good staff who look after our teaching, consulting and publishing activities, and there's no shortage of people who need our services. So we look forward to 2020 with confidence. An interesting recent development is the decision by the Cape Town municipality to amend its short-term letting policy, specifically in regard of sectional title and homeowners associations we are interested. As you may know, Airbnb and others like it are now massive international businesses. The number of overnight stays for Airbnb is now greater than those of the top seven international hotel chains combined. In the past 12 months, Airbnb facilitated 4 million guest check-ins worldwide. That business has more than 6 million online listings located across 100,000 cities worldwide. And Airbnb is just one of the, of the leading ones. It is probably the market leader. It's an unstoppable trend, what we call short-term letting. Uh, interestingly, it seems that the major competition impact isn't on hotels, but on the licensed B&B and guest house market. The Cape Town municipality approved changes to its municipal planning bylaw on the 31st of October 2019. These changes will only come into effect when the text is published in the Provincial Gazette, probably later this year or early in 2020, but the effect will be profound. We don't know the detail, but we do know the amendment will allow short-term letting from a house or a flat for a period not exceeding 30 consecutive days. And wherever you are in South Africa, look out. Johannesburg and Ethiquenia are unlikely to be far behind. Homeowners associations and sectional title schemes need to think about this issue and decide what changes they need to make to their rules to deal with this new situation. I hope that you've also had a good year and that you have a great Christmas break and be refreshed for the new set of challenges that 2020 will certainly hold. Have a great Christmas.